Welcome to Bloody Flicks, I'm your host Pete. And I'm Kyle, and we talk about all things bloody. And today we're going to review the movies of Le the Leprechaun franchise. And we're going to start off with the first Leprechaun that came out in 1993. Alright, this is about a Leprechaun whose gold is taken, and he's on a vengeful quest to get his gold back. <laughs> For the most part. <laughs> yeah. And it's directed by Mark Jones and stars Jennifer Aniston, Mark Holton, and Warwick Davis as the Killer Leprechaun. You yeah, can't go wrong with Warwick Davis, so. Yep. Um, Alright, so the premise of the movie, uh, Leprechaun gets his gold, well, the first gentleman you see kidnaps Leprechaun, takes him to the end of the rainbow, makes him show him his gold, and you're, if you, if, uh, if you, you can make a Leprechaun get your gold, and the gold is yours. Yep. Unfortunately, what happens when you take the Leprechaun's gold? You piss him off and he goes on a killing spree. Yeah, so, <laughs> I remember when this movie came out, actually, I watched it, I think I read it a few times. At Blockbuster, saw so young kids out there. Blockbuster was this place where they had videotapes, VHS. You put them in a VCR. You probably don't know that. Um, most older people do. But yeah, I rented it a few times, and uh, and it was actually pretty decent at the time. Rewatching it though, eh, a little different. I know you really like this because this is your birthday month. Yep, my birthday is on St. Patrick's Day, so this is kind of a birthday tradition: is to watch a couple Leprechaun movies. So. And this is the one that I seen the first when I was like 10 years old. And ever since then, I've watched one every year for my birthday. So. You know, because when this movie came out, it was a different take. It was a different, totally different, having a leprechaun kill a leprechaun versus what was out at that time. Because Slashers had kind of died out by then and Scream and all those were kind of coming in. So, I don't know, what you think of the movie? Well, my for my likes, um, of course, you know, you got to love Warwick Davis as the leprechaun. He, he's what makes these movies. Um, and this is actually Jennifer Aniston's very first movie too. So, um, yeah. at first you kind of don't like her character because she seems like she's stuck up and has to live that, I guess, uh, uh, ritzy life. Yeah. Mm. And then finally she kind of comes around and realizes that, you know, living the high life isn't everything. Especially after she, her dad takes her to the house that they're gonna live in now, and it's a complete dump. <laughs> yeah, it's it. The first she does come off snotty. Yeah. Uh, Warren Davis obviously is is cool just because it's him, obviously from Willow. And um, the best part of the movie was when Jennifer Aniston walks into the house. And you see her legs. To me, that's the best part of the movie. Um, but uh, she, you can tell Jennifer Aniston very young. She's snotty. I can't live here. It's amazing what a good-looking guy will do to a woman. I never had the luxury of doing this to a woman. Have you? No. But she hated this house. Dad, I'm not living here. I'm going to go get a hotel. Blah, blah, blah. I can't. It's dirt, spiders, blah, blah, blah. Until a young man shows up with a bucket of paint and they run into each other and they lock eyes. And now, magically, she can live there. All good. After she offs him 20 bucks for his bucket of paint. And that's not enough. No. No. I'll give you 50. I think, yeah, I think it was 50 bucks. But she also for 20, and then she also for 50. Yeah. Thinks, How about just an apology? And yeah. Just, apology? Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, so, yeah, she just comes off. I don't know. Um, kills? Yeah, um, this is, you know, for being the first Leprechaun movie, it's got okay kills, um, which one of my dislikes is that, um, you know him being having magic you would have thought that the kills would have been a little more creative but as the sequels go on then the kills do get become a little more creative so that was my only really dislike in this movie but most of my likes is I love the characters you know Warwick Davis is awesome as the leprechaun and <laughs> yeah I mean from the opening scene he when I first watched him, I'm like how in the heck did he even find this guy that took his gold well he, sn he, he snuck it to the guy's suitcase and then came back to the United States to look for his gold. So I could have killed him at that point, but he didn't know where his gold was, so it was kind of confusing. But yeah, the kills were okay. Um, I do love the makeup. The leprechaun, the makeup, the way they did it. They really made him evil, and the acting was pretty good. Um, the, yeah, the magic is like hit and miss. It's like he has all his magic, and he kind of uses it, but then kind of does it, so it's kind of like. Well, it, like they didn't know what to do with him the first well, one. Well, really. 
he says it be, that he's weak because he doesn't have his gold. So basically, his power. And every time he finds gold, yeah, he finds his gold. Then he got his powers back. So off the bat, he was kind of weak using his powers. But then once he got his gold back, then he was strong. Real yeah, because his first kill was pretty much just scaring the the wife, and she falls backwards the stairs and kills and dies. Breaks, yeah, breaks her neck. So that was her first kill. But yeah, it's a pretty entertaining movie. Um, especially for 93, because it was, 93 wasn't a lot of horror movies that I remember, like, of this type. Um, these kills, characters, I don't know, for me, I think I would do two blood drops out of five. I know, this is your movie, I know this is your movie. Well, for me, uh, I'll tell you right now, my favorite kill in the movie is the shop owner that gets the pogo stick. That is definitely the best, best. You know, it's kind of funny seeing a leprechaun on a pogo stick. And what he says, too. Yeah, he's like, this old lep, he played one, he played pogo on as long as he's, you know, jumping on him. And, yeah, that was the best kill of the movie. That's my favorite kill, um, just because it's just so stupid and corny and fun. It's like a little bit of everything. That is by far the best kill. And his lines that he says is really good. But, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, but of uh, the movies, it's just the leprechaun series is it's just okay for me. Kind of like Scream is for you. It's just there. So, um, the Pogo kill, we'll have to see where that falls on my top 10 Leprechaun kills list, which is coming up this month also. But, for my rating, like I said, this has a lot of nostalgia for me. So, I'm going to give it 4 out of 5 blood drops. Damn! I knew that was coming. So. Yeah. And this is the thing with, with reviews. It's your generation, what you grew up with. You were younger when you saw it. If a movie scares you a certain time or comes out a certain time, whatever generation is going to like a certain amount of movies. So, um, each his own. Um, but you would have thought also as an adult, you know, I was 10 years old when I seen this movie, and as an adult you would have thought my uh, overall, if, you know, if I would like it less or not. It's actually, I think I have that nostalgia blinders on, and that's why I love this movie. But, yeah, it... I'll probably always love this movie just for the fact that I watched it as a And that's the fun thing about reviews is that, like, not the comment for me. I love that movie. I grew up with that movie. Some people are like, oh, it's boring, it sucks, it's okay, whatever. You like this movie. You grew up with some movies you watch later on, and you realize, okay, they're not as good as they were. Yeah. Some movies just stick with you. This stuck with you. So there's nothing wrong with that, but so I gave it two out of five blood drops. You get four out of five blood drops for Leprechaun. So now let's move on to Leprechaun Returns. The last one of the franchise. Yeah, and that came out in 2018. And again, this is about what sorority sisters. Yep. And uh, they need a place to live, so of course the house is there, and they're trying to turn the house um, into a sorority. And of course, you have a couple of guys. I think two guys and three girls. And one of the girls is is she a relative? Or the she's the daughter of Tori, That's Jennifer right. Aniston's character from the first movie. And in this movie, unfortunately, Jennifer Aniston's character, Tori, has died. She had some kind of cancer. And you don't know that at first till about... Uh, within the first act of the movie, you find out that she's actually dead. And, you know, you have Ozzy returning from the first movie. Which I do like. Yeah, Ozzy's... I, you know, was pretty funny in the first one. And, you know, he's in here for about ten minutes in this one. So, you know... Uh, but yeah, so what you like? Um, actually, this one I actually like a little better um, than the first one, um, which is really weird because I really thought the first one would stick with me longer. But after rewatching it, I was like, eh, it just didn't hit me the same. I don't know why. But the returns, um, the characters were okay. Typical characters that you would find in the movie. Um, the leprechaun's a different character. Yeah, by this, different. yeah, this time it's not played by Warwick Davis, it's played by Lyndon Porco, which actually his leprechaun is pretty good. The you only, just don't like to laugh. The only yeah. thing that's kind of annoying, and the first couple times I watched this, it really didn't bother me at first, but then the last time I watched it, his laugh is kind of annoying. It's one of those, hee hee hee, like, you know, laughs, and it does, it gets kind of annoying after a while. It's a higher pitch yeah, it's it. A, yeah, it's a higher pitch, and yeah, I like the look of the Leprechaun, you know, they kind of made it, you know, it's supposed to be 25 years after the original It is one. older and, and uh, grimy and yeah, stuff, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I like the character, the laugh did not bother me, um, I thought they did a good job, the actor they picked, um, it's definitely, the kills were better by far, 
Um, and they're all done practical because the director of this movie is actually a special effects guy. So yeah. they try to use as much practical as they could. The only thing, uh, so the leprechaun obviously comes back. He wants his gold still, surprising. Um, and uh, the main girl, she has the, a necklace on her that protects her. And so he can't get near her, can't touch her. Um, and he wants his gold and all that. So he picks up all, picks off everybody um, throughout the movie and kills them in different ways. I did like the kills a lot. There's a mailbox kill in there where he gets a guy's head stuck in there, runs him over. Um, I like the kill. I really like the kill about the um, solar panel. Falls off the roof, slices the uh, one of the guys in half. That was really good. You can actually see both part bots laying there. Um, which is amazing how there's really no blood. Like he gets sliced in half, but not much blood. But it's still a cool kill. Um, what? <laughs> there are some dumb parts though. <laughs> there are there are a lot of dumb parts. That... You mean where they all have to take selfies with him? <laughs> yeah. Um, let's like the, okay. Let's like this leprechaun. The first one's evil. It was a straight up kill. And then they, then they throughout, well, I mean, throughout the movies, they vary, like, you know, but in this one, he's kind of like, he's not a true killer. He will, he kills everybody, but he's not a true killer, but he's not 100% funny. He's willing to barter, so he's like in the middle of all of them. Uh, but there's a part where they have a drone and they're going over the house with the drone. Well, Leper kind of gets the drone and he's flying on it, chasing the car down as trying to get away. And somehow this oh, little in, in their Toyota Prius. So this little little drone ends up when you see him, he's actually flying on. So somehow the drone expanded, and he's actually chasing him down in this drone, you know, controlling himself. And the drone will last what well, maybe 10, 15 minutes tops, and it's a whole scene of that. So that was kind of. And then you mentioned obviously the kill with that. Oh yeah, the um, guy that owns the drone, Andy. He's uh. uh <laughs> He's up against the tree, and the leprechaun flies the drone up to him, and he basically decapitates him with it. The plastic blades from yeah, him. I'm like the guy couldn't have like put his arms up to defend his face or whatever. He just like lets it come right up and cut, decapitate him. So I mean, yeah, I I don't know. Maybe they do have metal blades on drones now, but I, I doubt it because this is probably when drones were first coming out. Uh, well, not when first coming out, but I mean. If you ever had a drone, they're plastic blades. I mean, the things stop in a heartbeat, but it is a leprechaun, so he has magic. So, I don't know. I, I think it's the toss between kind of using magic, kind of not, was thing. I actually like the movie. Um, I put it a smidge above the first one. I know that probably kills you, but uh, I don't know. For me, um, I would give it mm, two and a half blood drops out of five. Okay. Now, like the original Leprechaun. This one I'm going to give it four blood drops out of five too. Um, this is, I would say in my Leprechaun ranking, this is probably my third favorite, but I think the more that I watch this one, it'll probably move up to probably the number two spot. Yeah, it's entertaining. If it's on, I'll watch it. I mean, it's one of those things. Yeah, but like I said, you really like the franchise in general. Um, well, uh, not all of them. The, the back in the hood, in the hood ones are kind of uh, but well, you're gonna have some bad ones when you have that. Yeah, movies, yeah. You gotta give it credit. Leprechaun has how many movies now? There's eight. Yes. So that's a lot of movies. So you pretty much you're up there with Friday Thirteenth, Nightmare on Elm Street, you know, Halloween. So for the most part, um, but yeah. So four out of five blood drops for you, and two and a half out of blood drops out of five out of blood drops. I can't talk obviously. Two and a half out of five out of me, and four and a half, four for you. So let's redo that. <laughs> That's not so bad. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, two and a half blood drops out of five for me, and of course four for you. So anyway, um, that is our quick March Leprechaun review. So stay tuned for the Leprechaun Top Kills. And and until next time. I want me gold. <laughs> anyway, until next time. Stay bloody. I want to be gold. <laughs> you threw me off of that one.